breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. They have begun on Obaseki, exposing all that he has been doing in um, Edo State. This is a uh, revelation coming out saying how Obaseki squandered seven billion on diesel in just three months. And Edo Senator is the one saying it. You just saw the senator, that's the senator saying Obaseki spent seven billion for just diesel. And he said the thing is that why he's revealing this is because the diesel is not really the money that they are saying they spend for this diesel is not really, you know, for the diesel. And that's that's why he's coming out, that he's now a man of integrity and honor, and he hates dishonesty with all that is happening. He needs to speak the truth because uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki, according to him, that people are thinking is a saint, is not the saint that they think he is, and that he just wants to clarify the air so that Nigerians can be aware of some of the activities of Governor Godwin Obaseki. How Obaseki squandered seven billion on diesel in just three months. A senator spills reveals all. Senator Monday, representing Esa Central, has accused Governor Godwin Obaseki of a do state of misappropriating the sum of over seven billion on petrol on petroleum subsidy remover allocated to Edo State by the federal government. This money was given, to the, given by the federal government for the government to spend on the people of Nigeria, but he did other things. The governor popularly, the governor popularly called Sunday has been exposed an expenditure of seven billion on diesel alone, an allegation, an alleged fuel a do state to allegedly fuel a do state transport buses in just three months. This is a lie. There was nothing to it. Monday, Senator Monday said he took the swift at Governor Baseki of a do state and also disagree with some of the issues that the governor has been bringing up in recent times to judge and to write away money addressing some critical matters impacting the state during the occasion of the 25th priestly anniversary and book launch of Rev right reverend dr theophilus idemodia at the at the luminary christian international school in oromi the senator popularly called Akba Mezi has also exposed another expenditure of five billion on on transportation. The governor said he was spending spending this money to ease transportation for the people, but there was really no time the governor spent this money, but as part of the expenditure from the office of the government, he lamented how funds allocated allocated to the states to ease the life of the people of Edo State has been squandered by the governor who puts it in the expenditure as part of the money spent. Yet, we do not see any expenditures of these things in our real life. It's only in paper. The wasteful spending on diesel could be spent to fix terrible roads in the state. Edo State is no longer accessible through any sites because of bad roads. Akwazemi also therefore called on the accountability and transparency of the governor for the people. I know he's about to leave office and so he's consolidating on his plans, trying to get all the money he can. So when he leaves office, he will have more than enough. But stealing in this kind of regard is beyond words. The governor did not spend any of this money that we are all aware of. There is no way the governor has spent this money and we did not see it in Edo State. Seven billion on diesel, five billion on transportation, isn't the transport of the people who exactly we are transported and what were the buses. This is Edo State. This is where we all are. So that's the senator. You can see his face and he's taking a swift at Governor Gordon Obaseki saying Obaseki, bottom line, easy speak, says Obaseki is lying. You know, if you want to, if you want to categorically put the words as it is, okay, straight on, no, no, no dreamboats, just making it straight clear as it is. He's saying 
Okay, if we are inferring from the statement that Obaseki is lying. So this is what is going on. He said that because the money Obaseki is spending, you know, of course, they will give a, a quarterly review of how far they spent money in the state. He said Obaseki wrote, according to him, that seven billion was spent on petrol, uh, on a of on fuel. So that was the same money that the federal government sent, you know, for this subsidy allocation. When the subsidy was removed, according to him, the federal government sent this, uh, some subsidy to the state to help them improve in their development. He said the Basaki now is telling Nigerians that he, sp he spent that money on FWE. He said, but FWE in which regards? How? This is the senator, you know, uh, representing Esako, uh, Esia, saying this to so, Esia. He said, you know, that Obaseki did not spend that money anyway. Then Obaseki also wrote that he released five billion to ease transportation for the people. He said they did not see it. That what Obaseki is saying is alien to them. You know, don't forget that Obaseki is not ruling really alone. There is a governor and a deputy, and the deputy happens to be Felix Shaibu. And this is what is explaining to us that, you know, these things some of them are saying to us are lies. But simply put, if you want to infer from his statement that there was no time, you know, any seven billion or five billion was spent in a do state, that the governor is categorically saying, putting it in the expenditure profile, that uh, this money was spent. Well, my lovely people, you can see for yourself that um, again and again, every single person will need to uh, understand that governance in Nigeria, there is a lot of lies. Okay, mixed together, entangled together. And when you look at it, you begin to really ask yourself, you know, are these people, do they really have a heart for the nation? Is there any time that, you know, they were really sincere in their campaign when they go out? Now, this is an accusation, an allegation against Obaseki. It is left for Obaseki you know, to also prove himself and to show to Nigerians that, you know, uh, this is uh, this is what it is. Well, my lovely people, Nigerians, if there's any time that um, we all should rise up and ensure that the right things are done, it is now more than ever before. So Nigerians, what do you think? Do you think that um, the right approaches are being taken in order to ensure that uh, the right things are done? Or we are just, you know, we're just, uh, we're just in that uh, uh, circle where we are, we're just going round and we've not really um, gotten an understanding of who we are or where we are headed, you know, um, both states and local government, because it's, it's very easy to face the federal government. But let's even start from the, from the local government level to the state level, then to the federal. Are these people really sincere? Do we have good leaders? This is why again and again, we cannot, uh, we cannot joke with who we put in those positions. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.